Man, I want a fat shoe with a cream plus, but I don't want it to be a Yeezy 500. I wonder if there's anything else out there. Oh, hello. What's good everyone on YouTube? It's me again, back with another video. And sticking on the theme with Adidas and its collaborations, we're actually looking at a pretty recent, I'd say pretty recent in relative terms, uh, collaboration between Adidas and uh, Naked, uh, I guess, clothing. Um, Naked's a, a sneaker boutique based out of Europe somewhere, and they're specifically catered around like women's clothing and that sort of thing. Uh, as you can tell, I didn't really do my research about the brand, but hey, we're gonna go on it with it anyway. But uh, recently, uh, Adidas came out with a um, unique silhouette with this collaboration, or at least I thought it was unique until they start releasing regular versions of the shoe, which kind of killed it in my opinion. Uh, would have been nice if they just kept it as a specific collaboration silhouette, but hey, I'm not Adidas, I don't make these decisions. But, so they released two colorways, there was a uh, much more limited like friends and family pair, and then the much more uh, regular sort of cream pair, which is the one we have on the channel today. So, without further ado, today we are talking about the Adidas Magma Runner, naked, in I guess what I'm going to call it the cream colorway. So, with the intro out of the way, let's get into the box. So, you know, typical to uh, more recent Adidas collaborations, we've got this all-white consortium box. So, it's done in all-white, we've got Adidas written on both sides. And then on the top, we've got the classic sort of consortium handshake and uh, the little consortium word written in a nice little typeface. And it's a slide-out box, and we've got the same, the respect is mutual, written on it. And then inside the box, we've got the typical sort of consortium handshake logo paper. And uh, funnily enough, actually, I expected there was paper in there, but no, the shoes weren't stuffed with anything. And the shoes actually came with extra laces. So on the shoe itself, it's more of a true white. And then we get, actually get this pair of uh, slightly creamish laces. And a uh, quick thing to note, um, the laces actually have no uh, plastic eyelets. Uh, plastic aglets actually. They're sort of like a different weave to make the aglets. Um, kind of going off on a tangent, it's cool, it's a cool look, but it makes it so hard to relace the shoe because the, the aglets aren't very stiff, so they just keep doing this weird motion. So, moving to the label, it actually reads um, Magma Runner Naked. What's interesting, there's actually a, it, it seems like there's a second label slapped on top of an original label. Who knows? Uh, so the retail price on these, um, I can't remember what the retail price was, I just remember what I picked these up for on sale, uh, and clothing, back at it again. Um, I ended up picking these up for around 139 Australian dollars shipped, I'll put the conversion here. And for 139 um, honestly, 139 is not too bad, um, all things considered, so I was pretty happy to pay the price. So, with the box out of the way. Let's get into the shoes. And here we are. Whew, fat. The Adidas Magma Runner, naked, in the cream colorway. So, what the easiest way I could probably explain this is that it almost looks like a, a Adidas Young One upper thrown on an extremely chunky, almost platform sole. So, much like the young one, we've got a lot of like paneling and shapes that gives the shoe a lot of kind of interesting curves and dynamics. So, on the back, we've got this sort of nice leather, which switches to like a mesh. And then we've got leather near the eyelets, as well as um, on the toe box, what we've got is a pretty interesting combination of felt and uh, leather stacked on top of each other to give the toe box a nice sort of wavy shape. And then um, looking at the tongue, we've actually got this um, three stripes really sort of subtly hidden behind the laces. And then we've got the usual consortium uh, pull tab. And then on this shoe, we've actually got Adidas written on the front. And on the other shoe, we've got Naked written on the front. Along with uh, these sort of leather and like mesh and felt panels, we've actually got a few layers of uh, 3M uh, reflective material. So when you hit the shoe with flash, you actually get a nice pop to it. And then looking on the insoles, on the uh, left shoe, we've actually got Adidas and Naked written together. But on the right shoe, we've actually got the uh, usual consortium handshake. And then sort of moving slightly down from the shoe, we've actually got this pretty hard like plastic, almost like outrigger. 
I'm not sure you play basketball and something like this, but hey, if you need that lateral support, um, the shoe includes it. So we've got it on the outside as well as on the inside of the shoe. And then moving down to what I actually think is probably the most interesting thing about this shoe is this really sort of chunky midsole and outsole. So the midsole on the outside actually almost has like a split section, kind of reminiscent of maybe like a Reebok Insta Pump or something like that. So we've got these really interesting curves and then we've got the Adipreme Plus branding on this side. And then actually on the inside, we've got this um, part where the uh, midsole actually, uh, the outsole actually creeps up to the midsole. And then moving to the outsole, we've actually got this really sort of like organic shape around sort of like the back part, which actually reminds me a lot of the Yeezy 500. And then near the front, it looks like a more traditional sort of uh, midsole, uh, outsole sort of traction pattern. And then the, that plastic shape that I mentioned before actually creeps down to the bottom as well. So it all kind of like blends and bleeds together, which I actually think is quite nice. So that covers the main features of this particular shoe. In terms of sizing, because this actually was a specifically women's silhouette, I had to do the whole size conversion thing. Uh, pro tip, if you're buying Adidas shoes, Adidas women's US sizing to men's US sizing is different by one size. So I bought these in a 10 and a half, which translates to a US men's nine and a half. And I will say this, lengthwise, it's perfect. It actually is like a tiny bit roomy. So the length seems to be pretty much on point. However, I found that the width of this shoe is actually quite uh, worrying. It's quite a narrow shoe. And that's because the plastic sort of goes really far forward. And my foot actually presses really tightly against this particular area of the shoe. So um, I would probably say if you have a normal to narrow foot, you should probably go true to size. But if you have a wide foot, I'd highly recommend going up half a size. So I am typically a US nine and a half. I bought these in a women's US 10 and a half and they fit me pretty good aside from the narrowness of the shoe. Now, in terms of comfort, uh, just trying it on inside the house and like sort of walking on like the wooden floors, I actually found that the Adipreme Plus has this nice sort of plushness to it. Um, even though the midsole is really sort of chunky and you feel quite high off the ground, it actually doesn't seem to be as unstable as you would think. I probably have to attribute it to the fact that they have these plastic pieces coming up. Um, it flexes quite nicely in the heel. I can't feel all that much in the forefoot, but it pretty much feels like the kind of like big platform shoe that you'd expect. Uh, the upper, um, the upper's pretty decent. Um, there's a lot of mesh on it, so it seems to be quite a breathable shoe. Uh, like I said, just because of this plastic part that comes around sort of the widest point on my foot at least, it, it kind of squeezes my feet a little bit, but it's not unbearable. But overall, I would say that um, in terms of comfort, this is actually quite a nice shoe and I probably wouldn't mind aside from like the slight narrowness issue. But honestly, um, you know, sometimes pain is beauty, uh, beauty is pain. And that's where I get into my opinions on this shoe. And I actually just think it's a really interesting, unique silhouette from Adidas. Um, it's kind of sad that they actually didn't keep this as a specific collaboration sort of silhouette and just started pumping out different colorways, which honestly weren't all that good. But as a, um, as a alternative sort of chunky shoe, I actually think that this is a really uh, nice sort of addition. Um, I just really kind of like how over over exaggerated the midsole actually is and I'm actually quite a big fan of the Young Ones paneling anyway so to get something really similar in terms of paneling is always a plus in my opinion plus this colorway is actually just quite simple and quite easy to wear like we've just got white and cream which will always kind of just blend into the background and um small funny story I mentioned it actually in another video uh, the reason I bought this was I saw someone in Sydney wearing this for the first time and I'd literally never seen it in person before that point. And uh, I don't know why, might have been the outfit, just might have been the way he carried himself, but he made the shoe look extremely good. And uh, that night I went ahead and bought the shoe. So um, yeah, word of mouth and influencer marketing, it's a thing. But overall, I'd just say, you know, I know I haven't worn it yet, but it's still quite a nice shoe and I'm quite happy to have it in my collection. It was on sale as well, so you can't get mad at that. But yeah, that, uh, 
I really need to stop buying shoes actually. And with that, we've come to the end of another video. So I'd love to hear what you have to say about the Adidas Magma Runner Naked in the cream colorway. And um, yeah, I'll, I'll pitch the same question again. Out of some of the fat shoes that exist uh, right now, what is your favorite? So um, for me, I'd probably just say um, Yeezy 700s, the Wave Runner only, always fire. And uh, I mentioned before the Puma Thunder Spectre is a quite a nice one too. Um, but I'd love to hear what you have to say. Like the video if you like the video, dislike the video if you dislike the video, and if you're into more sneaker content and that sort of thing, consider subscribing to the channel. And yeah, I'll just leave it at that. And I'll catch you guys in another video.